G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love a good wrap recipe? There are many, many versions out there, but this one's just as good, if not better, and you can have it for breakfast and it tastes delicious. So join me today as I make my version of breakfast wraps. Now we're gonna start this off with the best and the tastiest ingredient, and that's our bacon. So I have a fry pan here on a medium to high heat. So we're just going to start by cooking up our rashes of bacon. And we're just going to cook them up until your desired texture, which, <laughs> let's be honest, for most people is nice and crispy. So while our bacon's cooking away, we're going to prepare the eggs. So I've got four eggs here. Now it depends on how many eggs you want to use. It really is completely up to you. It depends on how many wraps you want to make and really how much egg you want in your wrap. But I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And just simply give it a good whisk until it's all nice and broken up. Okay, so our bacon is halfway there, so I'm just going to add on some mushrooms. Any type of mushrooms, it's really up to you. And we're just going to let those cook away just to soften them up a little bit while our bacon is finishing up. Okay, once the bacon and mushrooms are cooked, we're going to turn it down to a medium heat. And we're just going to place the bacon and the mushrooms onto a paper towel just to soak up that extra oil. Okay, so I've just drained off the excess oil. And with our fry pan on a medium heat, just pour on the eggs. And we're just going to keep on moving the eggs around just like so, just to scramble them up. You let them sit there for too long, they will start to burn. And we want to get to a moist consistency. You don't want it too dry, but you also don't want it too runny too. One thing I've noticed, I mean, let me know in the comments below, you ever notice that if you overcook the eggs, especially when scramble them, they kind of smell like a wet dog. I know it's weird, but that's just how I seem to perceive it. But let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so there we go. Perfect. Still slightly moist, but not dry. So just take it straight off the heat. Next, I'm going to use a large wrap. Now I'm using wholemeal, but that just comes down to personal preference. You can use white if you choose, but as I said, it's really up to you. So I'm going to start by placing some of our scrambled egg just in the middle. And next, some of our yummy bacon. <laughs> bacon. Next, some of our mushrooms. Then some shredded cheese of your choice. I'm using a Mexican blend I picked up from Costco. Then some sliced tomato, just to pretend that it's kind of healthy, but we all know it's not. And finally, just going to drizzle on some barbecue sauce. Now, what we have to do is just wrap it up. So we're going to start by folding the bottom half, just like so. Then we're going to fold over another side like so. And then we're just going to roll it over. And there we have my version of a breakfast wrap. Or you can even call it a breakfast burrito. But either way, it's got bacon in it. Let's be honest, you can't go wrong with bacon. But when you mix it in with all those lovely other ingredients, the egg, the juicy tomato, and the flavor of the barbecue sauce, when you bite into one of these, you'll know this breakfast wrap tastes simply delish. And of course, this isn't a breakfast you want to have every single day. Once a week or once every couple of weeks is just fine. Just as a treat. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Please check the links down below to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.